Hello and welcome to a student tutorial on how to use Canvas. Canvas is the course hosting management system where you can participate in your courses online via a computer or a mobile app. This is different from MySierra where you register for classes and check your financial aid status. To log into Canvas, click on the Canvas link from the Sierra homepage or from your MySierra account. You can also bookmark this URL into your browser. You will use the same username and password for Canvas that you do for MySierra. From the Sierra College homepage, the Canvas link is here. And from your MySierra homepage, the Canvas link is here. Let's log in using the web site address, sierra.instructure.com. This guide refers to the browser-based Canvas website as opposed to the mobile app. Once logged into Canvas, you will see a red navigation bar to the left side where you can select from your personal account settings, see your courses, see your grades, send and check messages to and from your teachers, and view your calendar. The help icon at the bottom is where you can post trouble tickets or get after hours hotline phone number. This homepage of Canvas is called your dashboard. The top center area may show current Canvas district announcements and in the main area will be either your courses in card view, list view, or you may select the recent activity view via the three vertical dots at the top right and can modify the view at any time. You can go into your course by selecting one of the courses displayed on your dashboard. To modify the courses that appear on your dashboard, select Courses in the left side red navigation bar, then select All Courses at the bottom of the list. In that next screen, favorite the course by selecting the star next to the names of any courses you want to appear on your dashboard and deselect the stars from any past semester courses you don't wish to see anymore. You can modify this at any time. Please note that you cannot favorite any courses that haven't been made available by your instructor. Once you are in your course shell, you will be directed by your instructor as far as what you need to do for that unit or week. You will see various navigation links in the left side of that course based on what the instructor has made available. We're about to go over some of the main course links that you may see. However, if you do not see them, then the instructor might not be using them at this time. Some instructors may have all their content accessible through the modules area instead. Keep watching so I can explain each type of the content you might find in your course. This is where your instructor will post assignments for the course. Select the Assignments link in the Course Navigation menu on the left where you can view your upcoming assignments. Select an assignment to view any instructions and to upload your assignment via the Submit Assignment button. You would upload this file the same way you would upload attachments in an email. The assignment upload file may be in the form of a Word doc or other file types, depending on the instructor's preference, so be sure to check out their instructions. This section will contain quizzes, surveys, and any other type of exam for the course. Follow the instructions to begin your test. Some instructors may have all the questions display at once, and others will only show one question at a time. Be sure to have a stable internet connection, and it's best not to minimize the browser window, as it might time you out. Your
your instructor may require you to use the Proctorio Test Proctoring Extension from Chrome. They will let you know in the exam instructions. You can view a setup guide for this Chrome extension at the following URL. The discussion board is where most instructors will host their class discussions. Discussion topics will be posted by instructors, which might include your response related to a chapter in your course book, as well as commenting on other students' replies, but topics will vary depending on the course. To reply to the main post, type into the reply field directly under the instructor's post. To reply to another student's reply, type into the reply field under their post. For longer responses, it's best for you to type these up in a notepad or Word doc first, just in case your Canvas session or internet connection times out before you've had a chance to submit. This will save you the grief of having to retype any lengthy replies you might otherwise lose. Some instructors may organize their course content into modules based on each week or unit. If the teacher is using modules, you can view them via the course navigation links. Some modules will be in a certain order where you have to complete one task before moving on to the next. Other modules will be more open where you can view all of the content from the module section. You will also see a grades link in your course navigation on the left side if the instructor has made it available. You will be able to view your graded assignments in this section. You can also view messages from your instructor via the inbox icon on the left side red navigation pane. This is different from your Sierra email in that it resides within Canvas and can only be used for active courses meaning you can only contact your current instructors and they can only contact their current students. You can also use Sierra's email system via your My Sierra account, which is an actual email system that can email anyone. You may receive Canvas notifications in your Sierra email with course updates and Canvas messages, but it's best to log into Canvas to respond to those messages rather than to respond to the email, as it's only a notification of a message, not the message itself. Please note that instructors may use either system to notify you of canceled classes or other course updates, so it's best to check both of those often. If you need help with specific course content, please email or message your instructor to get clarification. If you're having technical issues with Canvas, first check your browser compatibility as well as trying a different browser, as this is the cause of most technical issues in Canvas. However, if you're still having technical issues after ruling out browser issues, please post a ticket in the Canvas help system by selecting the help icon on the left side red navigation bar, then select report a problem. Please list as many details as possible to help the technical staff identify the issue. Also keep in mind that the Canvas Help Desk is open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m., but there is an after hours weekend hotline listed at the top of the menu that you can call anytime during non-business hours. Browser issues seem to be at fault 80 to 90% of Canvas help tickets. Internet Explorer is not recommended to use at all, and Safari can be problematic for some Mac users. The most compatible browsers at this time are Chrome and Firefox, but you'll want to be sure to keep them up to date to the latest versions. You also need to turn off pop-up blocking and ad blockers to allow all of the functions within Canvas to run properly. Canvas maintains a browser compatibility list as well, right here on their website. We'll post the link to this down below. If you need help with the subject matter of your course, you can access the online tutoring service via a link in your course navigation menu. 
If it's not available there, you can join the Online Tutoring Center Campus Shell The Distance Learning Department website has other resources including Canvas Guides, FAQs, an online student readiness quiz, and much more. To view the Sierra College Distance Learning Department website, please go to www.sierracollege.edu forward slash distance learning. And that concludes this student tutorial on using Canvas. Thanks so much for watching.